fix your printer problems with an uninstall and reinstall. Hi everyone, I'm Leo Notenboom for AskLeo.com. Before we go any further, be sure and hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. If you find this video useful, it'll make sure you get notified when I publish new videos and it'll help others on YouTube find the answers that they're looking for. One of the answers that they're frequently looking for is what's going on with my printer. Various sorts of problems plague people with printers and printing in Windows. It's not at all uncommon for things to get, I'll just say, confused. One of the best ways, and as it turns out, a very simple way to unconfuse things is to actually do what a lot of people think is kind of unthinkable, uninstall the printer, but then we'll add it back in again. Let me show you what I mean. We're in Windows 10 Home. Uh, we're going to go to the Settings app and their Devices and printers and scanners. Now you can see that I have uh, not only the usual Microsoft XPS document writer, print to PDF, uh, OneNote, etc., fax, which I would never ever use, but I actually do have the printer that if you look at the end of this video is the printer that's hiding over my shoulder. This is my brother color printer in the back of the office. Let's assume for a moment I was having some kind of trouble with it, some trouble that I couldn't quite understand, couldn't quite repair on my own. The thing to try is to click on the printer, click on remove device, tell Windows, yes, you really do mean to remove it. And it's done. It will have picked a new default, which we'll fix here in a minute. But now without that printer being installed, go ahead and add a printer or scanner. You can see that many times it is simply going to search for and then find the printer we're interested in. In my case, I'll just click on that and say add device. And honestly, that's all it often takes to resolve a bunch of different printing related errors. Now, if the printer you want, you have, isn't listed, isn't automatically found when it goes through this scanning process, you would hit that button and it would allow you to identify device drivers for that printer. Or the other approach is instead of using Windows add a printer or scanner, you might instead have to download the latest setup program, which would include the latest drivers from the printer manufacturer's website. But in either case, you can see that the printer will come back and it probably will come back potentially without a few of the problems you've been experiencing with it. One last thing before we go, I wanted to fix this whole concept of the default printer since it went to print to PDF when I removed my printer. We'll return to the printers and scanners list, click on the printer you want to be the default, click on manage, and then click set as default. Now, when you go back, you'll find that the printer is listed as the default printer. I always use these as opportunities to remove other printers that I know I'll never use, like the fax I'll never use, XPS document writer will never use, and I don't happen to use OneNote, so that can go away, which will leave me only with the two printers I actually care about, my physical printer here in my office, and Microsoft Print to PDF. Hope that was helpful for the accompanying article with instructions and screenshots, as well as any updates related links and comments, visit askleo.com slash 126249. I'm Leo Notenboom, and this is askleo.com.